Hey everybody, Kazungu here and welcome back to another video. I'm just gonna go over really quickly how to get the Time Lost Fate Bringer, which is, I know, the hot ticket item right now in the Destiny community, which only drops from the challenge completion in the Master Mode Vault of Glass on the Templar Encounter, which is this week's challenge, if you did not know. The differences between this and a normal Fate Bringer are that it will always roll with Explosive Payload and Firefly, um, these perks will always be random. I got Frenzy and Killing Wind. You can get any of the other perks available on Fate Ringer here. Magazines will be random and barrels will be random. Uh, the only other differences is like an adept weapon, it has a slight bump to its other stats when you masterwork it. Uh, and it, those are shaders, it is able to slot adept mods. Uh, for PvE, you're really still just going to use minor spec, but uh, for PvP, if you like this gun in PvP, you get access to these mods which can drop from the Master Mode Encounters, as well as Grandmaster Nightfalls and Flawless Trials runs. The best way to farm them will honestly be Grandmaster Nightfalls, especially now that Selector is here and you can pick your Grandmaster. Uh, the number one thing that you're going to want to know right off the bat is for damage. I'm gonna go over some alternate things you can use if you don't have this loadout, but the best loadout you're gonna find is two slug shotguns, preferably Heritage with Reconstruction Recombination, and first in, last out with Auto Loading Holster and Vorpal Weapon. Uh, pairing that with Anarchy, using the Seasonal Mod Breach and Clear, you'll be able to do quite a bit of damage to this boss pretty quickly and get the challenge beaten. I will go over some alternate things later for you can use if you do not have this setup. But again, uh, if you have this setup, 100%, this is going to be the best thing you could do. Now, to beat the Templar, basically what you're going to have to do is kill the boss without ever allowing him to teleport. Uh, it's pretty easy. You usually just have whoever is holding the Relic stand on the teleport spots. And there are four of them that you have to worry about because the boss will always be in the middle if you block the teleports. You need to stand on this flat rock if the ring is there. And when it's the teleport time, there'll be a large white ring with a laser going into the sky. That tells you where to stand to block the teleport. Any player can stand there. However, usually the relic holder is the one that does. There's one on this flat rock. There is one on this back corner here. There is another one on the other back corner roughly there and the last teleport spot is going to be on this ledge right here the one here and on that flat rock over there are definitely the most dangerous of the of the four and my advice would be to drop a super or use hunter invisibility or something on these to make sure that the harpies and the minotaurs do not kill you while you're blocking the teleport uh, because if you die with the relic you will wipe after 10 seconds the number one thing you're going to want to do is, like I mentioned, if you're running slug shotguns for DPS, you're going to want to set up a, uh, a well on either this ledge or that ledge there. You're going to want to lead with Anarchy and then go into your slug shotguns. If you know how to hot swap, it's basically where you will sprint cancel as you switch. I messed it up there. But if you do it correctly, it should look something like this when you go to DPS. And this is going to be the highest DPS you're going to be able to do to the boss. Your total damage will be the same, obviously, since you're firing the same number of shotgun shots and using the same number of anarchy, but you can make the life of your relic holder much easier by doing that, since you'll fire the same number of all your shots every time, but you can get them out much quicker by hot swapping if you know how to do it. Uh, the other option that not a lot of people realize is that you can opt for long range against this boss. So... Basically, what you could do is you can actually come back here, and if you drop a well on this pillar, once you break the Templar shield with the Relic Super, all the spots around this pillar are actually still in the well. Even on this other side, even though you're not able to see the Templar, you're able to still have that Well of Radiance buff. Well, you can run long range here, usually sniper rifles, something like Succession with Reconstruction Vorpal, Long Shadow with an extended magazine and triple tap. This perk doesn't really matter, but a reload perk like Field Prep is really good. And a backup mag. Or you can use Praetis Revenge with Rewind Rounds and either High Impact Reserves or Frenzy. You do not need the Time Loss version. Uh, I just have this one, but the actual damage will be the same. It's just the only example of a good one I have. Uh, you can use for your energy slot something like Uzume with either Bottomless Grief or Triple Tap and Vorpal. Again, you do not need the Adept version here. The damage is the same. You could use Ikelo Sniper, which has four times the charm and high impact. Um, that one's also very, very good. Or Adored with Triple Tap, Vorpal Weapon, and either a boss spec or a backup mag are also very, very good. Although I would definitely go ahead and give a disclaimer that these two 
are better than the adored if you have either. Uh, and you're heavy, you can use something like Threaded Needle, uh, a rocket launcher even. If you run a rocket, I would actually advise pairing it with Wither Horde in your kinetic slot, but all of these work at long range. And if you use a rocket, be careful. I like something with auto-loading holster or impulse amplifier. This isn't bad either, but I like these a little more. You can run Sleeper Simulant. This gun just got a buff very recently. It's actually quite good again. Um, you could always run Anarchy in the back with two legendary snipers. That is also very valid. I forgot to mention that. Anarchy definitely still the best play. But even if you don't have Anarchy, you can run something like Whisper of the Worm. Although I would be very careful running this. You have to land nothing but crits to actually make it good. And something like Deathbringer is fine, but I would not advise this. It's very difficult to get all the value out of this. Uh, but it is doable. It is doable, but you might be stuck here for a while. The one thing I'd like to highlight, however, is Izanagi's Burden, Legendary Sniper, and Threaded Needle. Basically, in this spot, you would drop your well, and you'd be here doing damage to the Templar. Whenever you go in, uh, if you've ever used Izanagi's Burden recently, you'd know that when you reload a Honed Edge shot, there's quite a bit of time before you're actually able to fire your bullet, and there's no way to really get past that. But what you could do is by pairing it with a linear fusion, I have threaded needle with auto-loading Vorpal. It doesn't need to be threaded needle. It doesn't necessarily need Vorpal either, although it definitely helps. It really only needs this auto-loading holster here because what I can do is I can scope in, fire my Izanagis, reload. Right as I hit the one bullet mark, I can go and fire all of my shots out of threaded needle, swap back to Izanagis, fire again, reload a honed edge and when i pull threaded needle back out it'll already be reloaded this basically lets you skip izanagi's lockout on the reload while also being able to skip reloading your fusion it does very very good damage uh still not as much as two slug shotguns and anarchy but it's probably the highest you're going to get at long range and then once you're out like i almost am so once you've used all this and you have no izanagi's or linear fusion ammo you just pull out your legendary sniper in your energy slot finish him off with this uh, if you hear the oracles start to spawn, just stay in DPS, try and push the boss, because whenever you go to do oracles, you're going to have to let him teleport anyways. My advice is really just try and one phase him. You can do that with the sniper build, but that is going to be the general gist of things. Uh, again, shotguns if you have them. If you don't, I really like this spot for a couple reasons. It, a, lets you use snipers, but B, it's much safer. Then either of these ledges out front, there's much less that can see you, much less that can hit you, and it's much easier to just shoot at the Templar. But that is going to be all I have for this one. Good luck to everybody that is going to try and farm for the Time Lost Fatebringer. I know it's one thing that a lot of people really, really want. And again, just let me know in the comments down below if you found this video helpful. Uh, and if you liked it, again, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. I know this is a little bit of a different video, not necessarily a guide where I talk over gameplay, but I just thought I would make something for you guys to potentially help some people with getting their Time Lost Fatebringer as well as show some alternate strategies. All the alternate strategies, including the snipers that you saw here, I did actually test. Um, they they do work uh, from what we found. They're harder than the slug shotguns, but they, they will eventually work. So if you really, really want the Time Lost Fatebringer, I would advise at least giving it a try uh, because it will not be available again this season. There are only two or three weeks left in the season and this weapon will, you'll have to wait till next season and regrind your artifact to get another chance at getting it. And next season we are going to lose our breach and clear artifact mod, which definitely makes this one of the easiest times to try and get it. Plus, once you've unlocked Time Lost Fate Ringer once, anytime you clear master, you'll be able to purchase these for 25 spoils of conquest make it much easier to farm out that god roll that you might be interested in well again like i said if you like the video like and subscribe is appreciated good luck on your runs i've been talking for way too long and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out everybody